guys, I had to do this video because I talk about it so much and I was not able to really go in depth every time I do a Walmart, a Audi's haul. So really quick. Yeah, how does that work with me? <laughs> as quick as I can do it. So those little blue signs that you see all over the Audi's. So I had to flip it around so you guys can see it, but this is what it looks like. It says Audi's twice as nice guarantee. Enjoy the video. Fool, that's not something you should be ignoring. It's not something you should be ignoring. Why? Because did you know, if you did not know this and you're new to Audi's, Audi's derives from Germany, okay? It is a food chain in Germany. Everybody always say, oh, it's knockoff, it's this, it's that. Do your research. Aldi's also prides itself in not allowing certain additives, artificial flavors, processed things, and harmful things in most of their food. I'm saying most because things have changed in most of their food. So artificial colors, artificial flavors, artificial things, a lot of times you would see them say no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, no GMOs, and most of their things. I'm not saying 100% of it, but most of it. So you have a better chance of buying a food that is a little bit better for you from Audis than you do another store. Now, that blue thing that I'm talking about, that is why I say I love Audis is because they stand behind their things. If you, for some reason, do not like the item, not only do they have a return policy, but they have a double back, a twice is nice. So if you bought these graham crackers and for some reason you didn't like them, you didn't like the taste, the texture, the other, whatever, even if you ate some, even if it was half gone, you can literally bring this item back to Walmart. I mean, why do I keep saying Walmart? All these. Now, it's been changing over the years because this is only on all these products. So why do I need a receipt? And I mean, yeah, people do still, but they didn't used to, and, and it depends on what store you go to. They didn't used to give you issues. They'll just let you get your money back and they'll also give you another item. So you'll get another cracker. Say you don't want this one. You could get some more crackers, something similar, and you get your money back. You can tell them to put it on a gift card. You can tell them to give it in, to you in cash, or you can tell them to give it back to you in the way that you pay for the item if you have your receipt. Without the receipt, some people say we can't do double back without the receipt. Some people say you can. Another thing that I've, I've ran into is some people say, oh, you know, we don't do double back on produce, but then I go to some that know me and see me all the time. The new ones, they say that. But the other ones, there's like, yeah, go get you another strawberry and they give me back my money. So if you... So is it just me where it is so annoying when you have been doing something for so long, longer than the person has even worked there or knew about the store themselves. And they look at you like you're crazy when you know their policy better than them or know the rules or regulations of the store. Sometimes you will get those super duper associates that want to do the most because they don't know the policy. Just get a manager. Just get a manager. You go to Audi's and this you're new to Audi and you don't know nothing about Audi and you're like, oh no, I don't want that off brand name food or whatever. Like for instance, I'm getting ready to try these bad boys out. Why would I try these versus at a Walmart? Because Walmart gives you problems for stuff. Like even if you have your receipt, when you open something and eat it at Walmart, they're like, okay, you open it. What's the problem? You would. Wow. The way I froze this clip. It's literally how I wanted to look at the lady at Walmart because it doesn't matter if you have your receipts, your blood type, your social security number, or the CEO or the founder of Walmart with you. There's always this one person that does the most to try not to give you your money back or try to make an excuse about how a new policy has changed. You don't go through that much at Aldi's. I promise you, you don't go through that much at Aldi's. <laughs> They have to say something or make up something in order to get your money back. But with all these, you don't have to. You just say, eh, it wasn't for me. Or you could tell them. You get what I'm saying? And then they're going to give you another item. So you can go buy another regular bag of chips, a bag of pretzels, or something similar to this. 
a snack, a salty snack, and then you're going to get your money back. So for those of you who knock Audis, for those of you who don't know about Audis, I have been shopping at Audis since my first apartment. And even before then, I would shop at Audis with my grandfather every now and then when he would go there. So I've been rocking with Audis. Ooh, we ain't gonna tell you how long it's been. So anyways, I've been rocking with Audis for a minute. So if you shop at Aldi's and you do not like something, I just had an incident. And if you didn't see my food haul that I just posted recently, um, where I said something gross and disgusting in here. Oh yeah. In that video, I literally bought some salmon and not thinking. I hey, one of my gators, please remind me to put the link to that food haul below just in case someone cannot find it. I bought the bag, the two pound bag with skin on it. I like to get it with skin off. When I rent to, when I went to thaw it out, it unthawed disgustingly. It was bad. It wasn't good. That was $8 and some change. I took it back to Audi's with the remaining pieces that I did not unthaw. I didn't want to bring rotten meat back to them. And they don't, if it's something bad, you don't have to bring it back. You can let them know. But for me to not feel a certain type of way, I always record like, look at this. I'm showing you it's falling apart. I'm throwing it in the trash or whatever, or, you know, something in it or whatever. And I show them and they, they usually don't even want to see it. But anywho, so I brought back the, the bad salmon and I was able to get two bags of the one pound salmons because they didn't have any more two pounds of the skinless salmon, which is what I normally get and I never have a problem with it. So they gave me back my $8 and some change and then they gave me two fresh bags of salmon. So let me know what stores I think someone told me about some store that does do something similar to it or, or guarantees your stuff or something. I don't know. Talk to me in the comments. If you know a store that does this or, or will give you your money back, you don't have to have your receipt. They know their product or whatever because it's their brand or whatever. Let me know in the comments. So that's why I love Audi. They literally have it on all of their products. You will see, and I'm showing you all type of stuff. I, I even got my cream cheese out the refrigerator. You see it? The twice nice right here in the corner. My cream, my wet heavy ribbon cream right there in the corner. My mustard. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I don't see it on the mustard. And I just, oh, it is. It, oh, they doing them different on different things. Twice as nice right there. I got some beans, a can of beans. Twice as nice. Um, you've seen it on the, the taco shells. I even have some pickles out the refrigerator. Twice as nice. They stand by their stuff. So I just wanted to share this quick video. I love me some Audis. I love, love, love me some Audis. And you can find some snacks and some little things that you just can't find in other stores. Their chocolate, if you are a chocolate lover, it's so creamy. I love dark chocolate. Even their dark chocolate is creamy. Like, oh, uh, if you don't know about Audis. I'm telling you, take the chance. I give it a two thumbs up. You, everywhere you go, you're going to have issues. Nothing's going to be perfect, but for your money and the way the cost of food is right now, I promise you, you're going to find some things you like. Even the meat, even the meat, the lunch meat, the meat. If you don't like it or if it's not to your standards or whatever, bring it back. Well, I just told you guys about salmon. So yeah, but I'm talking about like pork chops and steaks and stuff like that. My phone is getting ready to die. I'm on 5%. Talk to me in the comments because I talk back. If you love Audis, talk to me in the comments. If you had an incident with Audis and you're like, oh, can't do it. And you wanted to stray away from it, but didn't know about this. Talk to me in the comments. If you know about this and utilize this, talk, talk to me in the comments. I will see you guys later. Gators.